What is happening everybody? John Muller here and you're very, very welcome to another episode of More Sales Every Single Day Like Clockwork and a really cool episode for you today. It's going to be short and sweet but it's going to be jam-packed full of value. We're going to show you a unique strategy that you can use that will help you eliminate your competition 
by certain things that you do in your marketing, certain things that you say in your marketing, and how you present your product and the, the wording and the phrasing that you use. Bit trigger happy with the button there. Didn't mean to press that, but it's all good. So if you're just joining me, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, we're broadcasting from just the MFA Nation group today. Uh, last week we had some issues with the um, with the restreaming software, so we're just broadcasting the MFA Nation group today. So extra special for all our MFA Nation members. So whether you're watching this live or you're watching it back in the replay, um, do leave your comments below. Any kind of aha moments you have or any kind of questions you have that we don't get to cover today. You can leave them in the comments and we'll get to them afterwards. So, like I was saying, today's show, today's episode is all about one thing. It's all about helping you get some clarity about a unique way of, of presenting your product in a way that actually helps you eliminate your competition. It eliminates that, that need for your prospective buyers to, to shop around or to, to price check or, or anything like that, which you know can happen in certain markets. So it's, um, it's a really cool training that we'll be sharing on that. And... Uh, and the reason why I want to do this, I mean, we all know you're in the MFA Nation group now, so you're aware of how powerful or how crucial your marketing message is. And so many people get hung up, hung up on their funnel type or, or funnel model, or they get hung up on certain aspects of their funnel, their upsells, or, or whatever the case may be. But the reality is your marketing message, what you say to someone and how you say it, whether you're communicating with a webinar, whether you're communicating with in a lead magnet, whether you're communicating in a video or or a narrative series or whatever the case is, it's the message and how you structure that message that really makes the difference between you possibly making a sale or most definitely not making a sale. And the training, the kind of mini training I have for you today is, is Todd looked at a really specific promotion and that promotion was doing certain things really, really well and uh, these are the same things that you can leverage in your own um, promotions and campaigns as well. So we have, um, um, uh, because I'm posting an MFA Nation group, I can't actually see who that is that, um, that, that shared that comment because when I loaded up the, the, um, the group, there was a bit of a crossover. So yeah, delighted you're here. And uh, let's dive into the training with Todd. I wanna walk you through this promotion right here. And I wanna show you a cool aspect of the way that this product is being presented that virtually eliminates all competition. It really eliminates all comparison shopping from prospects. And so this is, uh, this is a product from the guys at Athlean X. Uh, Jeff uh, Cavalier, I believe, is the guy behind this. He's got a very popular YouTube channel all about fitness, uh, muscular growth, kind of developing a, a, a great physique for men. And it's a very competitive marketplace to say the least. There are tons and tons of YouTube channels about this exact topic. There are tons and tons of products out on the market as it relates to uh, to building fitness routines. And, um, and even the, the crew at Athlean X have a lot of different products. But what I want you to notice about this particular training program is the name and the positioning. And so they've named this thing the Wolver Wolverine Beast Mode, right? And if you watch this little video, which I believe is, yeah, it's just about a minute and, and 13 seconds, you can see that this is all about, as they presented, it's all about building uh, strength and muscle, uh, as much strength and as much muscle as humanly possible in a 30-day program. But this is really all about the Wolverine, it's Wolverine beast mode. And so if you go through this, I want you to look at a couple things and then I'm gonna point out some of the marketing nuances. And so this is, right, Wolverine over here, Wolverine beast mode at a glance. Develop animalistic strength uh, by trading in volume for the sheer intensity of uh, force cluster 25s. So number one, they're continuing with this whole language of Wolverine beast mode. They're not talking about it in the same, uh, the same type of language with the same type of terms that you see in the typical fitness program, right? They're using all of these and you could see this carried throughout animalistic, um, strength, 
uh, over here, um, time to carve an unseen muscle definition with the ascending ISO sets found in stalking mode. Uh, think you've seen every kind of pull up. Nope. Welcome to beast mode and the tornado pull up. Uh, and blah, blah, blah. They go into the X-Man uh, challenge over here. And look at this. Animal strength 2.0, ruthless aggression 2.0, stalking 2.0. So the way that they're talking about the program itself is positioning with differentiation. You know, you've heard me say so many times how critically important in marketing differentiation is. Different gets attention. Better doesn't always get attention. And so I am constantly on the lookout for how do we position a product, a service, an offer, a, a marketing message as different, as something unique, as something completely uh, uh, completely separated from the pack, from what's available out there. And that's what Jeff and the guys at Athlean X have done with this Wolverine beast mode. Instead of talking about it as just sheer strength, right? They're, again, strength, aggression, stalking. I even like this idea. If you really think about it, I love, they didn't just choose like, you know, uh, they didn't choose some superhero or something like that. Like, right? They, they chose Wolverine because Wolverine as a character represents that sheer intensity, that uh, just a uh, tough, rugged exterior, uh, a phenomenal physique, but also like just a, a, a rough and tough superhero. And so the sheer character of Wolverine exudes the qualities that a lot of men, right, wrong, or indifferent, are, are after. And then the copy supports that. This is a very short page over here. This is just a, a page on their, um, kind of in their, um, in their catalog. And so it's cool to think, right, that like ruthless aggression, when was the last time you saw in a fitness promotion, somebody talk about ruthless aggression, aggression alone, let alone ruthless aggression and stalking 2.0. And so I, I love it. And I love the fact that if, if you look at this, let's look at this for one second. If you look at this, these three Wolverine training phases, right? There is no, like, unless somebody else was offering their version of the Wolverine training program, there is now no more competition. They've eliminated competition simply by taking this training program and positioning it as this Wolverine training program. And see, that's the thing that I want you to really understand that that this could have been a regular run-of-the-mill training program. This could have been all about, right, right, like, like, look, the reality is this, that, that almost every training program uh, uh, is designed to do one or, or more of the typical kind of fitness outcomes, right? Build strength, build muscle, burn fat, build cardiovascular endurance, et cetera, right? And there's, you know, there's, there's all different types of exercises and movements and whatnot. And so they could have very easily positioned this as like the 30 day, right? How to, ma how to grow maximum muscle in 30 days, which is a very common approach, a very common tactic, a very common strategy used with fitness programs. And so, and so what they did was they took an ordinary, a potentially ordinary fitness product and they turned it into something unique simply by the way that they positioned it. And that's the thing that I, I want you to understand. We could go through and we can look at things, all the cool things that they did, the little nuanced things like these adding in, right, giving... Um, you know, giving multiple unique mechanisms. What are these forest cluster, you know, uh, um, 25s? What is this stalking mode over here? What is this tornado pull up, right? So they're adding in unique mechanisms. They're, they're adding in unique ways that this program delivers on the promise. But the real lesson that I want you to get here is that they were able to take a, an ordinary program and make it unique, make it different, make it special, make it something that stands out simply by repositioning it. And so it doesn't matter what it is that you sell, what it is that you market, what it is that your company offers. There's always a way to reposition it as something new, unique, and different. You just have to really look at what is the market currently offering, right? Always understand that this whole idea of unique, whether it be a unique mechanism, a whole unique positioning for your, your, your product, right? 
that in order for something to be unique, you need to know what is already being offered. What else is already out there, right? Because you want to make sure that you're not offering the same thing that is already out there, right? And so um, you have to be in touch with what the market is is already offering to your to your prospects. But understand that no matter what it is that you market and sell, that it can be positioned a certain way, a different way to be unique. And just because it might seem like a commodity, I mean, the, the reality is that that a fitness program is a, it's, it's today, it's a commodity. It really is. But this is what changes it from a commodity or the it changes the perception of it as a commodity into something unique, different, exciting, and... Um, and, and cool. And so I, you know, I, I love it. And I think that there is a lot to be learned here. And I hope that you, uh, I hope that you study this. I'll include the link so that you can go and check out, um, check out this page, but it's very simple, very straightforward. And so there you have it. So as you can see from that very, very quick training from Todd, there's a few key lessons that I want to go over. And if you have any questions, then you can stick them into the, the comments, but the a few of the things I want to go over first and foremost that you can see from that page that like if you look at the the, the, the bare bones of what what the program actually is it's a 30 day fitness program um, building as much muscle as possible right but they didn't just come up with you know grow as much most as much muscle as possible in 30 days blah 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 they put a specific unique positioning around it and they developed a team a specific theme for this offer which was based around the whole you know wolverine and if you look at any of the language it's all based around like the the, the kind of like the the traits that wolverine as a superhero has he's aggressive you know he's that 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 crawling mentality and that that, that aggression animalistic type uh person and they use that language if you look at the languaging that was used if you look at the phrasing that was used if you look at the the multiple unique mechanisms that they use as they're describing their programs not just normal pull-ups but you know wolverine aggression style pull-ups 2.0 or whatever it says and the, the first lesson i want you to get is and what todd was is getting across is that simply giving giving it an, an overall team to your marketing or overall positioning around a some element or some team to, to your offers can go a long long way and if you do that don't 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 do it half ass. Don't do it. Just don't kind of half do it with a couple of bit of phrasing elements here. If you're gonna go all in with a team, go all in with a team. And like as Todd mentioned, is that when you talk the way you talk about your programs, the way you position it, and the way you differentiate it is key because different gets attention. Better doesn't necessarily get attention, but different gets attention. Like another example here is this uh, 75 hard. I mean, it's a it's essentially a a fitness and a mental challenge and it's a 75 day program but it's positioned as way more than that and it's and it's getting so much traction from Andy Frisella I mean I, I'm on day what what day 21 today I did like day I did like 55 days before Christmas and then I broke and I started again on the first of January but thousands of people are doing it and it's like there's like a little mini movement around it because how he's positioned it and how he's differentiated in all the other challenges around it he's made it like He's made it about mental toughness, not just about fitness. And he's, there's, there's so many different elements too, but it's just another great example of going all in on a specific theme. And like Todd mentioned, different gets attention, better doesn't necessarily get attention. And when you think about it, that you may have a program or you may have an offer or you may have a, a course or, a, or some offer that you have in the marketplace that may be getting a little bit stale and a really relatively easy way to pour new life into that is simply by repositioning it. It's simply by looking at it, well, how can you reposition this offer and release it to the marketplace again? Does that make sense? And like, it's really a fantastic way to, to add life to your offers. And like Todd mentioned, one thing that you should do before you look at repositioning is, is to examine the marketplace, is to examine what's currently being offered. And so often we we're kind of have we kind of have our blinkers on and we we just assume that or oh, I'll just come up with this offer and it'll work. But the reality is, in order for your offers to really work extremely, extremely well and to have longevity, you need to first and foremost examine what's currently being offered in the market by your competitors, by by indirect competitors, see what they're offering, and so on and so forth. And then like doing deep examination on your own offer and putting together an offer that's just crazy powerful, what Todd calls a sin offer. And then when you do that, then you can tie that to, to what the market wants. 
and a really straightforward way of keeping on top of what the market wants is using a simple tool like something like Google Trends. And I, I don't know for certain, but I would hazard a guess that when Jeff Cavalier and the Athlete Next guys were putting together this Wolverine Beast Mode um, offer, the 30 day muscle building program, it was around the time that people were searching for how Hugh on Google Trends, Hugh Jackman workout programs, Wolverine workout programs. Maybe it was around the time of one of the Wolverine movies or one of the X-Men movies or or when they were like doing the promos for when you'd see Hugh Jackman absolutely ripped. So people were like, oh Jesus, I'd love to be as ripped as him. And they start searching for Hugh Jackman workout programs as far as a fort. And then Jeff Cavalier's team came out with this offer around, um, you know, Wolverine Beast Mode 30 day program. And I'm, I've no doubt it absolutely crushed. I mean, I've, I've gone through Jeff's programs. I've had Athlete Next 1, 2. I've gone through 1 and 2, and I've gone through their 0 program as well. And the programs are, are fantastic and everything else, but how they position themselves in the market is really, really key, and they really differentiate themselves. On It's all done through the market, because when you break it down at the end of the day, their programs are just like any other programs. They're 90-day fitness programs, they're 60-day fitness programs, they're 30-day fitness programs, but they go heavy on their positioning, which is why they're so successful as well. So there's a question here. So I like it, but how do you use this and not alienate part of your market or if part of your market doesn't know Wolverine, Wonder Woman for the women angle have two funnels? So say for example, like this is where, like the great question and the answer here is to, is to truly understand your market. I mean, to truly understand what will make your market go wild. And that only comes from examination, that comes from research. I mean, there's no point coming out with, um, say for example, for us in the in the marketing space, if we're purely um, targeting existing online businesses and existing coaches, consultants, experts, and if we come out on an offer for brand, you know, the newbie formula for, for newbies just getting started, it's just not gonna go down well because we're not speaking our market's language. So the answer to that is to really understand your market and really understand who you're targeting and then look at what they're looking for. Look at what's currently being offered to them and then that's where you start your differentiation. That's where you, start, you can start to pick a team. You wouldn't just pick a team just for picking a team's sake, just to be just to, just to to do it for, for no other reason. You would pick a team that would, that the team that you would pick for your offer or the position that you would choose for your offer is gonna be geared around what your market wants. And in the example, with Jeff Cavalier and Athlete Next, men of a certain age, which is in Athlete Next's target market, were obviously, or well, I would hazard a guess that they were searching for worker programs around um, Wolverine, or that was a hot topic at the minute, or th there was trends related to that, so they came up with that, and Hugh Jackman being ripped at a certain age, they tied all of, all of that into their programs, and that's what their market wanted. Now, he targets specifically men of a certain age, guys between, I don't know, say 18 to, to 55 or 18 to 45 or whatever the case may be, he doesn't target women. So he wouldn't have come up with a, a workout program for women based around Wonder Woman and everything else. So it really just comes down to choosing a team or positioning that your market would go well for. Not coming up with a team and then trying to match match it to a certain market. It is Everything stems from what your market wants, their pains, their desires, what they're looking to achieve. And then you build your positioning around that rather than come on, coming up with a product first and then trying to match it to the market. It always, always starts with the market and then build an offer for them specifically. Hope that answers the question. What is a mental toughness program? Does it have a good sales page that demonstrates what you're talking about here? Yeah, if you just um, search 75 hard, I mean, the actual program, it's it's free to do. I mean, you can check it out. It's a, it's a pretty cool program. It is tough as hell. You have to... You do two workouts every day, one in the morning and, well I do one in the morning, one in the evening, one of them has to be outside. You drink a gallon of water every day, you read 10 pages of a book every day, there's no alcohol, no cheat meals, you have to follow a, a specific diet program of your choosing and you have to take a photo of yourself every day. So you have to do that every single day for 75 days and that's essentially it. So going back to the actual, um, like the core of this, the, when you break this down to what Todd was talking about, about differentiation and positioning. The core of it is really comes down to your marketing message. And for anybody who's in the MFA Nation group who hasn't currently got their copy of the E5 Method book, you can head on over to toddsfreebook.com and pick up your copy. There's a host of other bonuses. There's over $600 worth of bonuses. Just cover the shipping and you can get the copy for free. 
And there's a couple of upgrade options in there as well. If you want to upgrade to get the, a digital version, or if you wanted to get the, the workbook as well, highly recommend you get those. And uh, it really is going to help you. It's going to give you that foundation of, of the crux of marketing, no matter what your industry is, no matter what your niche is, no matter what your price point or your product or service is. It all comes down to your ability to be able to put together a marketing message that is, will resonate with your target market and an offer that will drive them crazy and then structure your campaign in such a way so that you can maximize the potential and the profit from that campaign. If that's something you're interested in, you can head on over to toddsfreebook.com. Similarly, if maybe you're a little bit confused about marketing or if you're a little bit um, unsure of your what your next step specific to your business or specific to your offer or specific to your niche should be, and you're looking for a little bit more clarity on how you can actually achieve your goals from a marketing point of view, whether that's to achieve an extra ten thousand dollars per month, or go from you know six figures plus, or or maybe you're you're at a certain level and you want to get to the next level. The, what really when you really break it down, it's about building out specific marketing campaigns that will help you achieve your goals. It's not about doing lots of different marketing activities that may or may not bring in results. It's about building out the specific marketing systems that you need to have in your business so you can engineer your marketing to deliver your results. And if that's something that you're interested in and you haven't already, you can go to book a call with one of our strategists at learnfromtod.com and they will walk you through our process that's working like gangbusters right now to help people go from point A to point B wherever they are in their marketing journey and build out the right type of campaign that can bring you new customers, new clients, and new sales every single day. And if that's something that you're interested in, just head on over to learnfromtod.com, book your call, and our E5 strategist will walk you through how we're helping our clients over an eight to 10 week period, build out the type of campaign that just works like crazy. And uh, yeah, so bottom line, first of all, thanks for watching this. We go live at 2 p.m. Eastern every single Thursday. Um, but just to recap what we covered, different gets attention. And first and foremost, in a day and age where attention is truly one of, the, one of the most important currencies to have, we need to be different. Better doesn't necessarily get attention because you may be better at getting a result than, say, somebody else. But if your market doesn't first and foremost find out about you and find out about the solutions that you have and how you can help them and your unique way of doing that, well, then it doesn't matter. You could be the best in the world, but if no one ever finds you, if no one ever finds out about you, it doesn't matter. So that's why being different or having different positioning, having a unique way to present your offer, a unique way to present yourself in the marketplace is very, very, very key. And if you want help with that, you can head over to learnfromtod.com, book a call with us, and we can help you get started in the best way possible. So quick recap on what we covered. If you're going to have a team around your marketing, go all in on that team. Use you know, research the language that's being used and use that language in your marketing and go all in like the example that, that Todd shared of Jeff Cavalier and Ethelene Nex. Secondly, you know, like I said, repositioning is a great way to add life to your offers. Maybe you have an offer right now that's getting a little bit stale. You can actually add to that. You can actually bring back, bring it back to life simply by doing a complete repositioning on it and then re-releasing it into the marketplace. And finally, Look at what's being offered. Always look at what's being offered by your competitors, by indirect competitors. See what other offers are available to them and then combine, the, come up with a, a much better, a, a, what Todd calls a sin offer, superior, irresistible and a no-brainer offer. But also, also keep an eye on trends. Keep an eye, keep your finger on the pulse of what your market, their hopes, their dreams, their desires and what they're, what they're searching for, what, to, what they're looking for, what their demands are. And the more we know about our market, the better decisions we can make in terms of our offers, in terms of our positioning, in terms of our teams, in terms of how we differentiate ourselves and how we come up with offers that will just drive them wild. And like I said, if you want our help with that, you can head on over to learnfromtod.com, book a call, and uh, we'll take it from there. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you on the next episode next week at 2 p.m. Eastern, Thursday. Yes, we teach marketing, but what we really do is change lives. That's the business we're really in. We just happen to do it through marketing education.
like, you know, people ask me all the time that say, well, why don't you just go out and sell some widget, man? Like, and look, I can't. There's no doubt, but what excites me more is to know that I get the, the good fortune. I, I'm blessed to just be able to, to give to other people what it is that I've learned and watch their lives change, right? We communicate with real people every day with real dreams, real families, real fears, real needs. Or when somebody posts a picture online of something that they just bought their spouse, a, a MacBook Pro or even uh, or even cars, or we see somebody that is uh, moving into a, a new home or maybe their first home that they've never owned before. And, and I just know, man, that we're, like we're changing lives. Um, there's just something, man, about seeing other people soar that juices me up.